During today's session, we'll look at some of the help, support and advice available to you as Sage accountants and bookkeepers while dealing with COVID-19 and working from home. We'll show you how to access invaluable articles, links and content updated daily through our accountant and bookkeeper hub. We'll talk about your options when it comes to working from home. How you and your clients can work in sync remotely without the need to physically share data. How you can help guide clients through this difficult time with cash flow and business insights. We understand that for some clients, deferring VAT payments could provide welcome relief. And as we know, some submission deadlines have been extended. We'll show you how to find out which ones. And finally, some useful support available to help you and your clients through these uncertain times. The Sage Accountant and Bookkeeper Hub is your number one resource for all information on Sage, not only now, but in the future too. Everything you and your clients need is here from educational videos, articles and e-learning, LinkedIn groups and networking, to VAT and tax information. Today we'll look specifically at the coronavirus information section. Today's session focuses on Sage 50 accounts, however, should you need help with your payroll, Sage Business Cloud or compliance, all the information you need is here. Everything we show you today is listed here for your reference later. Of course, the main concern must be our health and the health of families and those we work with. But with the uncertainty of how long lockdowns and working restrictions may last, we do need to think about how we future-proof our operations and how we can support our clients. Let's take a look at some of the issues that we may face. Accountancy and bookkeeping still needs to be done, even through COVID-19 weeks and months. It may be that we can't get into or are not allowed to work from the office. We could find that we have a bottleneck of work and it's more difficult to manage schedules remotely. Staff sickness should also be taken into consideration with lockdowns impacting who is able to do what. Finally, getting data from clients who are locked down may be more challenging than usual. Remotely accessing your software through the use of VPN, terminal services or Citrix may be the way forward to share data between yourselves and colleagues. Refer to your local IT teams in this case. We'll look at local installations of Sage 50 cloud accounts. Sage Drive connectivity, which will let you share data with clients. Remove the need for backups and restoring data and also give you real-time access to reports and insight. Putting these measures into place now will help save time, promote best practice and also future-proof your business. If you're planning on using Sage 50 Cloud accounts from home, the best thing to do is take a backup of the data to a memory stick from the Office PC. From help and about, it's worth making note of your serial number, activation key and account number. On your home PC, it's now possible to download software directly from our website, my.sage.co.uk. Here you'll find a link to download software and updates. Find the latest version of Sage 50 accounts and click the download link. Once the software is installed, you'll have the option to restore data from a backup file Choose the memory stick and the backup that you'd saved. Click Next and Restore. You'll now have access to the same customers, suppliers, bank information and reports as before. Further help and information for this process can be found in Ask Sage article number 46374. A great way to stay connected with clients and work with their data in real time without the need for backups and restoring data is to use Sage Drive. If your client has Sage 50 accounts installed and you have Sage 50 Cloud Accounts Client Manager, getting the data back and forth would usually have meant a memory stick, a trip to see the client, or perhaps even sending his emails back and forth which can get messy. The much easier way of doing things is to get your client to grant you access to connect to their data live. 
Once turned on, your client can give access to remote workers and to you as an accountant at no additional charge. Within the file menu of Sage 50 Cloud Accounts, your client will have the option of Sage Drive Setup. It's a simple wizard to follow, asking them to log in with a Sage ID first of all, create an encryption password for their data, which they'll later give to you. From there, they'll be directed to a management center where they can add you as their accountant. You'll receive an email to tell you that your client has now given you access to their data in real time. All you now have to do is from the new company menu, rather than restore data as we've just seen, we'll connect to data from Sage Drive. You'll be given a list of all the clients who have given you access. Choose the client and it'll ask you for the password that the client's created. Once you enter this password, you'll have live, real-time access to the data, which means the client can process without the need for any backup and restore of data. There's a fantastic Ask Sage article, number 41715, which tells you step-by-step -step how to set things up. There's also a really handy link for another article which can be sent to clients, which is 41713, and this is how to grant your accountant access to your Sage Drive data. Feel free to send this to your clients. Now more than ever, your clients will rely on you for support, guidance, and business insight. Within the COVID-19 section of the Accountants and Bookkeeper Hub, you'll find information on cash flow, business insights, and handy articles. Such as Ask Sage article number 44898, which links to some powerful reports and where to access them within the software. Remember with Sage 50 Cloud Accounts, if you want to group reports to create a contingency plan or business awareness pack, reports can be created en masse. Batch reports can be created directly from the software, allowing you to group things like debtors, creditors, day books, product profitability, top customers or suppliers. Then with one click, you can produce one handy report each tab shows all of the information requested to help clients understand where their business is financially. You can then save it for future use or email it directly to your client. We'll now take a look at COVID-19 updates, deferred VAT payments and submission dates. UK VAT registered businesses who have a VAT payment due between the 20th of March and the 30th of June 2020 have the option to defer the payment until a later date without paying any interest or penalties. In order to do this, we'd submit VAT as normal, but don't make a payment to HMRC. It's important to remind clients that they may need to cancel any direct debits directly through their bank in order to stop payments being taken. VAT payments due after the 30th of June 2020 must be paid as normal. For further information, Ask Sage article 46398 gives further details and links to HMRC. To help you even further with VAT, something we're really excited about at Sage is a tool we've designed to make making a tax digital and VAT simple. As you'll know, as part of making tax digital, changes HMRC introduced means that through your agent services account, you can no longer access information about clients making tax digital accounts. Regardless of bookkeeping software, Sage or otherwise, the Sage VAT Center gives you that visibility back. You'll see a breakdown of VAT returns and liabilities, payments and refunds for each client regardless of whether they use Sage or not. You'll find more information on the Accountant and Bookkeepers Hub, including handy guides, walkthrough videos, and information on getting started with the VAT Center. Now let's look at some of the functionality the VAT Center gives you. Manage your Making Tax Digital VAT clients, regardless of software, all free in one place. View historical Making Tax Digital VAT 100 information and open obligation periods for clients. 
view making tax digital VAT payments, liabilities and submission due dates for all clients. Filter clients by making tax digital sign up status giving you instant visibility for all clients. There's now a single authentication for your practice so there's no need to log into an agent services account for each client separately. You can control who has access to each client through user permissions. There's in-product help and support to help you make the most of this functionality. To get started, contact your Sage Practice Success Manager or go to sage.co.uk forward slash accountant hub for more information. The government also announced a new coronavirus self-employment income support scheme to support the self-employed during the coronavirus outbreak. Under the scheme, the self-employed will receive up to £2,500 per month for at least three months. Under the scheme, you can claim a taxable grant worth 80% of your trading profits up to £2,500 per month for at least the next three months. The grant is based on your average trading profit based on income, tax, self-assessment, tax returns submitted for the last three tax years where applicable. Again, for more information, there's an article in our Sage, it's number 46396. We've looked at deferred VAT payments, now let's look at submissions and deadlines. Within the Accountant Bookkeeper Hub, you'll see a section called Government Submissions and Deadlines. Here you'll find a breakdown of everything that needs to be submitted, with dates and extensions where applicable. The VAT, as mentioned, deferred liability due by the 31st of March 2021. Company financial statements for private companies can be extended for up to three months, but you need to apply. Self-assessment, July 2020 payment on account instalment postponed to January 31st, 2021. From the Accountant and Bookkeepers Hub, you'll see you have links to HMRC advice and company's house information as well. Throughout this difficult period, it's important to remember you're not alone in this. Sage are here to support you and your clients every step of the way. As our valued accountants and bookkeepers, you'll all have a dedicated practice success manager who'll take personal responsibility for any questions and queries you have. We've online resources, which we've already mentioned, through the Sage Accountant and Bookkeeper Hub and Ask Sage, which has lots of knowledge-based articles. You'll find here support guides, there's a video center with information and training guides that you can go through. And we've now made e-learning free of charge so you can get up to date on anything you may have missed in the past. We'll be running live Sage University courses, which you can sign up to and get involved with interactive tasks throughout the day. And we also have a dedicated support Q&A team who will answer any questions you have throughout your working day. Thank you for joining today's session. Hopefully you found it useful. Feel free to get in touch with us if you have any more questions or queries.